There are biases and barriers built into our systems today. And it's not our fault that they exist, but we're responsible for making them better for the next generation. The opportunity for financial stability, upward mobility, has been a driver in what I've seen my parents go through moving from Mexico, and so we're a family of immigrants that came to the U.S. for upward mobility, and we were able to benefit from that. And I think that every individual has unique gifts to contribute, and we have systems that work for some, but not for everybody. So having more effective career pathways, a fairer economy that's more inclusive, and that a system that works for all will be beneficial for everybody. When you're working at a foundation, you are the steward of the resources and the vision of one person. And how do you continue to be faithful to that vision and be very careful about making sure that those resources have the most impact possible? So philanthropy definitely lives in a space of privilege. We're, we're incredibly resourced and we're very well connected. How do we take the privilege that we have of being so well resourced to then give that gift of privilege back to the community, to give the community voice? The challenge comes from how do we convene with wisdom and with discernment so that we are able to bring different perspectives together. Communities are composed of many different perspectives and lived experiences. So we want to make sure that as those bridges then allow us to connect or, uh, communities, towns, the zip code areas that are no longer talking to each other. And that is tearing away at the fabric of our society. We're in the business of giving money away. Right? So there is an echo chamber around us telling us that we're right. So we have to be ruthlessly realistic about the impact of our work, about the results, about the level of risk that we're taking. It's easy to tell ourselves stories about our success. We need to make sure that we're measuring and having the right amount of failures as well, because otherwise we're not trying hard enough. You cannot join an organization like this one that's changing the world and not have change you for the better. It makes you more aware more empathetic and more focused on what are solutions that we can bring because we only have a finite amount of time to make a difference. Mm -hmm.